All right, the first thing that we want to do when we want to create a bioactive environment is we want the right cage. Uh, in this case, I want a cage that's going to be a, a humid cage because I'm going to do uh, the deep forest type bioactive. And for this, I need a hybrid cage. So what I'm looking for is a cage that has all sides uh, solid and it has the vents at the bottom front and the screen top. So I get the chimney effect. And the cage that I've uh, decided on is the Leap Habitat, the uh, 22 inch by 17 inch by 24 inch tall. Now, once I have this cage assembled, the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be putting down a layer of LECA balls, also called hydro balls. And I just do a about an inch, uh, like three quarters of an inch to an inch. Uh, and this is going to be my drainage layer. On top of the LECA balls goes a uh, sunscreen. Uh, actually, it's called a sunshade cloth and whatever it is, it can be a number of different things. Uh, it is what's going to separate the soil from the LECA balls. And that way I don't have a muddy mess at the bottom of my cage. On top of that substrate barrier, I'm gonna be putting in my bioactive substrate. Now I'm gonna be using two types of soils in this particular build. The first is my Leap Living Earth soil and the other is a Josh's Frogs ABG mix. Now I did purchase enough of the Leap Living Earth to do this entire project, except my wife decided she liked the way it smelled and so she absconded with uh, most of my living earth. She made good on it by going to a reptile show that was local and uh, brought back some Josh's Frogs ABG mix so I could actually do this project. Now I'm gonna put in a little bit of my soil and then I'm gonna put in my plants and then I'm gonna put in a little bit more of my soil. Ideally, these plants would have been in quarantine and the roots cleaned and the soil replaced. That's the safest way to do it. I haven't had problems going directly from the store yet but I do like to do the quarantine session. In this case, I'm not gonna be able to do that, the chameleon's here, and so I'm going to be risking the possibility that I will have to change out the entire substrate uh, at a later date. Once I put the plants in, situated everything, and then filled up the rest of the area with the bioactive soil, then I add a leaf layer. I'm gonna be adding in two types of leaves. The first is uh, an ash that's going to decompose very quickly. And the second is magnolia, which is gonna take a little bit longer to decompose. Once everything's in, I'll go ahead and spray it down and water the plants. And then it's time to add in my cleanup crew. Usually I like to put in the springtails first, wait a little while for them to get established, then put in the isopods, and then put in the chameleon at a later date. In this case, I'm gonna to have to do it all at once because this is a rush job. So isopods go in, springtails go in, and then it's time to put in a network of branches for the chameleon to climb on. This is gonna be a small chameleon, and so I just need very thin branches. If you need thicker branches, you can actually go as far as uh, screwing them into the walls of the cage, but I don't need to do that for these thin branches. Once the branches are in, I'm gonna be doing a check for my UV index. And uh, I take a UV index meter, solar meter 6.5, and I'm gonna make sure that the UVB exposure by the basking branch is right around UV index of three. Now, ideally I want the type of the cage to be at UV index of six because I don't want higher UVB levels coming into the cage. Now, this is a new UVB bulb that I've got here, and so expect that within the first 100 hours that the levels are gonna be much higher than they will be. So do these UVB checks every couple days over the first month, and you'll be able to adjust the distance between the basking branch and the UVB bulb to give yourself the UV index that you're looking for. Once all that's set up, it's time to bring in the chameleon and introduce him to his new home. And there's our quick bioactive cage build review.